When you download the product, I suggest you save it somewhere on your computer that you're going to be able to find it easy. I always suggest creating a folder for each specific product like I have with this one. First thing you're going to want to do is it'll come in a zip format. You're going to want to unzip it. Most simply is right click it and extract all. Depending on the zip utility you have, your procedure might be a little different. And if you don't have one, there are plenty of free ones on the internet that you can get. Once that file is unzipped, go ahead and go into the unzipped folder. Go into it again and you're going to find another series of zipped folders. You'll have the emails, the reports, a text file of the affiliate links, which all you'll have to do at that point is copy them and change out your affiliate ID inside of that ClickBank hoplink. In the 17 Site Ready with Video Templates folder, and it may be named something different when you look at this, you're going to want to unzip that. It's a pretty big folder, so it might take a second. Once you do, you're going to want to go into it. And you're going to find the 17 separate HTML folder si sites in separate folders. Now you may be able to unzip, um, download this where all of these are in one folder. You might not. They might be 17 separate downloads. For this example, because they're all going to be work the same, let's go ahead and open the anxiety one. We're going to unzip it. And I always unzip them right in the same folder I'm working in. And we're going to go into that folder and we're going to see that it's another series of folders. The only thing you're going to need to make adjustments on is will be the index file. That's it. Everything else stays as is. Do not touch it. Now I want to show you something. Um, I have a site here that has nothing on it. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page so you see. Uh, nothing found. Error. This is just a theme I threw up on a domain and but I wanted to read forward slash anxiety. So because we're going to play with the anxiety HTML video template. So we see that there's nothing there. What you'll have to do is go into your FTP program and I use FileZilla because it's free and it's very simple to use. Uh, once you set it up and access your account, what will happen is there'll be two screens. The left screen here will show the files on your computer. The right side will show the files on your server. So once you connect, you'll see the files of your server appear on the right. You're going to want to find the public underscore HTML folder. And there, this is what it would look like. The forward slash public underscore HTML will be your site here dot com. You're going to want to create a folder or a directory by right clicking in the empty folder, create a directory, and I'm going to use the word anxiety. We're going to create it, and now we've got a folder named anxiety. What you'll do is on this side where your computer's at, showing the files on your computer, you're going to want to go to the folder where you put your download. And you're going to want to navigate through the folders to where you found the one for anxiety or whichever site you happen to be working on. Continue drilling into it until you get to this option. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to upload all of these folders. Do not upload the zip folder, the zip folder and do not upload it any other way than the way I'm showing you. And you're going to want to come over here, double click into this folder. You'll see that it's empty. And then you're going to want to grab all these by either clicking on the top one, holding the shift button down and clicking on the last one. And you can right click, upload, and you'll see it starts putting them over here on this side into the server. All it's doing is uploading these things into the server. And depending on your connection and, and your computer may take a few minutes uh, or not. This is now done. So now that that's done, what I want to show you is we're going to go back here where we just were and we're going to refresh this page. And look what happens. There's your site. It's done. It's uploaded. Everything works. Even this. Do you suffer from stress, anxiety, or panic attacks? Relief and prevention are possible. Absolutely. It's all set up. 
So now what we're going to go over is how you can tweak this if you'd like to. Now, these templates were tested and they convert. Actually, the simpler, the better. So I don't suggest you play with them too much, but there are certain things you are going to want to change and you obviously have to put in your autoresponder code here. But we've made it as simple as possible. So here's how you do it. Um, you're going to want to grab a program, uh, any type of editor, text editor. I For this type of stuff, I like Notepad++. It's a free editor, and you can download it and put it on your computer. It's not the standard Notepad that comes with Microsoft. It's Notepad++. If you Google it, you'll find it, and it's a... It's a really great little utility. And what you're going to want to do is go put that index file here. Easiest way to do it is to go to file, and you can't see this, but there's an option called open. You'll click that, and then you're going to want to go to your computer where you put those files. And here they are for me. And you're going to want to drill down into the file you're looking for. We're in the anxiety folder now. Keep drilling down till you get to index. Click on it once, you'll see it fills it in here. You're gonna click on open, and boom, it's here. This is what the code looks like. Now, here's where you're gonna wanna make your changes. It's very simple. So you don't want the, the title of the, the title tag to be something different. It's right here at the top. Right now it's just standard for the one word. But if you want to put in different keywords or you're targeting something different, knock yourself out. This is where you'll change it. One of the reasons why I like Notepad++ so much is because it, it's very user-friendly. I'm not a coder, uh, but I know enough basic stuff. So when you highlight a tag or the beginning part of a code, it will highlight the end part of that code of where it is. So it helps keep everything in line for you. Plus, when you do click on something, it highlights the whole line. And it's kind of nice. See how I clicked on this bracket, and it showed me where the closing bracket is by highlighting it the same color. So you know the area you're working in. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. And right here, the very top, Your Name Presents. This is the equivalent to this, where it says here, Your Name Presents. So in order to change that, it's, it's just as simple as changing text. So it could be the name of your company. It could be you, your personal name. Greg proudly presents, and that's it. Now, let me show you what happens. The easiest thing to do is you, you want to hit go to file, and you click save. Do not click save as. Just click save, because you want it to stay the same name. Now, once that's done, we're going to go back to our FTP program, and we're going to re-upload this. But before you re-upload this, you have to know that the FTP or your, uh, your FTP client or FileZilla needs to know that you've made a change here, so you're going to want to refresh this. Now, if you use Win, WinSCP, it's different, but with FileZilla, you can just click the top of the folder, hit F5, and it will refresh these files. And once that's done, you're going to want to re-upload just this one file. So we'll click on it. We'll right-click, upload. It's going to ask us, what do we want to do? Just overwrite it. It's fine. It overwrites it, and it's done. Now let's see what happened. Come back over here to our site, and we will refresh it. Look at that. Greg proudly presents. It's that simple. Again, nothing else changed. The video is still there. So you're going to want to change this area. You're going to want to change your footer information. Let's go take a look at that. Go back to our editor. We'll scroll close to the bottom. Footer information here. That's it. You just highlight that. Change the text how you want. Now, if you want to play with this some more, see it's centered which class style it is, you can. Below this video, I'll put a link to a free resource um, that gives uh, quick little tutorials and snippets of code when it comes to HTML and how to what different things mean. So you'll be able to change that very simply. But you're going to want to change the footer information. You're going to want to change... Where 
is it? The name proudly presents. And then the last and final part, of course, is going to be the whole idea of this is to build a list. So you're going to want to put your autoresponder code here. So let me show you how that works. Um, you will go to your Aweber or whoever you use. In, in Aweber, once you're in the form, you'll go to the last section of publish and it will ask you, do you want to install your own form? You do not want the JavaScript snippet. You want the raw HTML version. You'll open that up. You can, we're going to want to control A, which grabs everything. We right click it. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to go back to our editor. So let's go back in the editor. And this is really simple. In this particular template, we're going to be looking, we're going to be scrolling down. It should all make sense. The Greg proudly presents. Um, keep scrolling down. You'll start seeing things. Simply enter your first name and email address to get instant access. Fill out the form below so we know we're getting close. Oh, here we have a div tag for the opt-in box. So this is where we're going to want to change everything out. Now, when you have an opening tag, you, you must have a closing tag. So you'll see by clicking on the tag here, it shows you the end div tag is here. What we're going to want to change out in this particular one is from line 99 to 116. This div opening div tag goes to this closing div tag. So you have a, you, you have a div within a div. And this whole area is where we're going to grab. So you click it. We know we're going to this one. So we're going to grab all of this all the way to here. And we're going to replace that with our autoresponder code by right clicking and then pasting in our autoresponder. That's it. Now, once you've done that, I want to show you something else. Here, a little higher up on the page. Uh, let me show you what I'm looking at. You, there, all of this is editable. Every bit of this is in here. Every bit of this is inside of this form, inside of this file here. So all you have to do is scroll over, see where it says, watch this video right now to discover the secrets to relieving anxiety and panic attacks. Watch this video right now to discover the secrets to relieving anxiety and panic attacks. By changing that in the editor and resaving it is exactly what would change that. You want to make it a little bit larger? Well, it's an H2 tag. So we just, we could simply change that to an H1, make it larger, put in a different class or a style. Anything you want to do with that is up to you. Then all you do is you come back over here to file, click save and you're done. When that part's done, you come back over to your FTP client, re-refresh the folder so it knows there's been changes made, and you re-upload the index page. And once you've done that, I'm not going to make the changes, I don't need to for this example, you come back over here and you can refresh it and you'll see the changes. That's why I uploaded it first rather than making the changes then putting it in. Then you can just keep seeing the changes as you do them. And then you're all set. Uh, enjoy.